Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and this is The Groom, and we're going to talk about Terrifier 3, which we just saw in a double feature at the drive-in, which was super fun. I love the drive-in. I love the whole experience. I love being in the car. I don't really love being <laughs> in the car, but like it's better than being in a theater full of people coughing and listening to them eat. I only have to listen to him eat, which is also Awful. pretty terrible, but like... Which is whatever. Terrible. Yeah, whatever. So, um, obviously, we're big fans of the the movies before, which are The Short, All Hallows' Eve, Terrifier, and Terrifier 2. Huge fans. Love those movies. So, we were super, super, super stoked to see this. And, like, kind of pleasantly surprised to learn that it was a Christmas movie because all the other iterations seem to be just Halloween, which is fine, because, like, I am Halloween. I love Halloween. It was great. This is also great, and I'm always looking for movies to add to my, like, repertoire of uh, holiday themes, especially Christmas. I'm glad that there's a lot more Thanksgiving movies now. There's, like, I think two Hanukkah movies, which is great. We should keep that going. Uh, so... I think the movie starts out as the other ones did like five years after, but then it cuts to like right after Terrifier 2, where a police officer goes to the scene of the Terrifier and is trying to figure out what happens. He finds Art's uh, decapitated. decapitated body and is like, what, what is this? And then it shoots us back and we reunite with Sienna and Jonathan and kind of pick up where we left off. Um, we also keep the story going with Vicky with that creepy little head that she grew in the hospital that has like morphed into like... It, I don't even know what that is, but it's just It was crazy. like a creepy head with like a long umbilical cord and it was eating someone and I couldn't stop laughing just because I picture... David, the guy that plays art, just like somehow like half in the floor, just like yang 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 yang, like chewing on the guy. Um, <laughs> oh my god! So we get to see another whole chapter of Art the Clown's story and legacy, and also see you know what's Sienna doing now? She was in a, a wellness center, I think, I so. which is what I th assume is kind of like maybe a group home. Or, uh, like, a mental health clinic, and mm -hmm. Jonathan is in college. Just trying to, like, move on with everything. They're both trying to move on, but, you know, I think it's it's awesome that they touched on this in the movie. Because you're, at least I am always like, well, how do you go back to, like, Normal real life after, life after yeah. this? Like, how, how do you do that? Because you could either just go to college... Or you could be constantly tormented by things that happened in your not so recent, you know, past, and you're just trying to hash that out and lead a productive life. So I really like that they touched on that. Um, I feel like Rob Zombie did that a bit with Halloween 2, mm -hmm. just like how people were like really not okay. And that's very believable. Like, I would really not be okay if uh, I had some crazy, like, otherworldly fight with Art the Clown and died and came back and then decapitated him. Like, what? Like, yeah, you won, but, like, did you win? And will she win this time? You gotta watch the movie. It's really good. Spoiler free, as always. I don't want to spoil anything. I tried to stay away from trailers, from people talking about it as much as possible because I wanted to go into this just like as fresh as, as I could and I feel like that really did work to my advantage I loved it I know like there was a there's a bunch of memes going around with things like relevant to the movie relevant to some of the kills and I didn't get them and it did not really ruin it for me thank goodness because I would have been pissed but yeah I don't want to give too much away but Sienna is uh, going to live, I think, permanently with her aunt, uncle, and her cousin, Gabby. And, like I said, Jonathan's in college, and it's kind of just like, 
it's the holidays. Everyone wants to be together, as you do. And uh, really, everyone wants to be together because Art definitely wants uh, a reunion as well. So we'll leave it off here. What did you like about this movie? I, this could quite possibly be one of my favorite movies ever. It was hilarious. It was so funny. It was... I felt like a psychopath because I kept laughing. But it's just... Art the Clown is so funny. Yeah. And it's so amazing how he does it without saying a word. And his ma- mannerisms, his, his facial expressions, his love for Santa Claus was just... I everything was I just loved everything about this movie I also one of my other favorite things was they made a Art the Clown Terrifier Christmas song Yeah, and I love that so not only do we have the Clown Cafe song but now we have the Terrifier Christmas song which I could, I could see us playing that like Hanging up some decorations, some spooky Christmas decorations. Some maybe. Art the Clown decorations. Some Art the Clown decorations, probably. <laughs> the Christmas decorating part with art is so great. It's amazing. Oh man, there's this movie was, and it was like, it was. I don't want to say it was like fast paced, but there was always something that was getting your attention. And they only did like little like mull around back background stuff, like. Uh, like little lulls in let's tell the story a little bit but they were very short and they were like interesting so it kept your attention the whole time so I I really love that about it the movie was very easy easy to very easy to follow very easy to stay on point with and very entertaining the entire time and this was I think two hours and five minutes and it did not feel like that I just learned that now and it yeah. did not feel like that there was like like you said there was really no lull Mm-hmm. It kept your attention the whole time. There wasn't a lot of boring exposition, which, like, that can kind of just, like, take you out of it. And then it takes you a second to be like, oh, that's where we are. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree with you on the humor part. I'm glad we saw this at the drive-in and we are just in the car by ourselves laughing like uh, psychopaths. Because it's just, it's so horrific, the things that are happening But then there's so much comedy also infused into it, which I think it's like, for lack of a better word, more digestible that way. And also, like, we're two profoundly traumatized people, so I think we're we're going to find a lot of humor in that regardless. Yeah, that's true. I think it was a a very nice balance of, like genuinely scary stuff with genuinely like repulsive disgusting stomach turning stuff and humor and I actually like I I felt you know the character development for Sienna in particular was great I still really felt for her character and I, I wanted you know only really good things to happen to her which like wasn't the case in most of the movie but like how could it be because she's she's seen some shit um, I hijacked your. No, I. I was. There. Are you good? Mm-hmm. So, obviously, the practical effects, like ten thousand chef kisses, Damien knows what he is doing, and you can see just how strong he has a love for the genre and for the art of practical effects and gore. It's just like top notch, like real. yeah. Just I, I so much blood. Yeah, <laughs> it was so great. yeah. I, I would lump him in definitely with my top effects artists that, you know, I look up to and praise. He has, like, just consistently shown time and time again that he knows how to shoot his effects and how to pull off his effects. And I cannot praise that enough. I'm just, like, I was so blown away by the effects in this movie. They were incredible. So good. So freaking good. Alright, so what would you rank the movie? Did you have any dislikes? Nope. Not one. Um, do I have any dislikes? It's hard to find one. I felt bad for, like, a rat in particular. Oh, the, kill- the killing of the... There was, like, a... It, uh, it was very, like, not realistic, but... Yeah. I was like, oh, But, like, whatever. We also, like, live in the country and get a lot of mice and... Fuck those mice. Fuck those mice. So. Um, so what would you rate the movie? 
I would, honestly, I would rate this 5 out of 5. I had such a good time watching this. I cannot wait to watch this again and again and again and again and then start with all of them and just watch the whole thing. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch this on Christmas Eve. I cannot wait to watch this in a week when I can maybe find it streaming somewhere or we go to see it again in the theaters because we were, you know, we see movies with friends a lot and uh, they were unfortunately unable to make it to this. So like 100% down to see it again as soon as possible. Cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> um, I would also give this a five out of five. If not for Deadpool and Wolverine, this would, would be my favorite movie of, of, of the year. Um, this is probably my favorite horror movie of all time. Uh, there was, I loved everything about this movie. It was geniusly written. It left a good little cliffhanger for Terrifier 4. If it's going to happen, no pressure, but like we'd love it. it. We'd love it. Yeah, so it was just like it, the, the, it was the score, the acting, the practical effects, the story, the, I mean, David's a, ge a genius. For the love of God, let this guy play the Joker. Yeah, for real. You're you know? missing out on <laughs> such an amazing talent. Give me an R rated Batman movie with him as the Joker for the love yeah. of God. But I mean, I loved everything about this movie five out of five. I hope they do another one. I will definitely watch it. Um, and like she said, we'll probably watch it with friends in the movie theaters again. We'll buy it yeah. and we'll oh, watch yeah. it forever and forever. And I think that like, it really warms my heart to see like, you know the merchandise you see on like Facebook ads or on TikTok where it's like all the big like quote unquote horror movie icons and now art is in there and I really hope that David realizes just how much of an impact all of the work he's put into this character has like manifested and how proud him and Damien should be especially Damien being the creator of this character like it's just like so cool it's so incredibly cool i i also paid 20 dollars so i can kill people in call of duty as art the clown hey just because of you David. yes <laughs> <clears throat> all right so uh tell them where to find us you can find uh the channel on facebook at reanimator reviews twitter I haven't done this in a while. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. You can find um, uh, you can reviews. find this in audio version yeah. through iTunes. Uh, thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And if you just want a popcorn movie, I guess you could settle for Smile too. It was okay. Some of the effects were cool, but like he, you described it as like. Inception, and I've never seen Inception, and he had to describe that to me, and I was like, meh. I don't know. It was fine. It was alright. It was a good, like, appetizer for I watching Terrifier 3. I thought it was Terrifier a Lady Gaga bi biopic for the first which 30 minutes. I would love to see. Also, um... You can find me yes. on Twitch and Kick under Repeat Viking. You can also find me on Twitter under Repeat Viking, where you will be subjected to my senseless shit every day. Just um, like me. Just like her. We had some uh, memorable things that we were screaming during this movie. <laughs> is she whacking it? Is she whacking it? Is he peeing? Is that pee? Uh <laughs> and, and I'm pretty sure he's walking around in a Santa suit. It smells like piss. Yeah. The whole time I was like, ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't clean oh, that. girl, no. And you're uh, like, wait, whose beard is that? I will say this about our The Clown. He did, he, he, in the one scene, he took a piss and he went and he washed his hands. Good for so him. So if Art the Clown washes his hands, you can wash your hands after you piss. Art learned from the pandemic, and so should all of you. Because I've been in many a public bathroom and then been like, that wasn't long enough. You should probably wash them again. PSA, the more you know. Scolding random people in, yeah. in bathrooms. More people should do it. Wash your hands. All right. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and washing your hands. And we'll see you later. Bye. Make sure to stay tuned after this video for random nonsense from us trying to film. Yeah, also that. <laughs> Bye. Look at him. He's like having a great time. Oh.
Oh, it's funny. We're going to talk about Terrifier and our black and white cat. We should have named him Aww. Art. We could have. That would have been after my grandpa. My grandpa's name was Arthur. 